Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be painting my third painting in Seascape watercolor series that I did in previous couple of weeks and I will be doing in next few weeks. If you like painting sunsets and seascapes, you can find the links down in the description box for my previous videos and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the one that are following. This painting I'm starting with making my sketch and I drew the horizon line, also the lines where my sea meets the beach, the lines that are going to be lighter for reflection in the sea and also in the beach and the place where my sun is going to be. Afterwards I am pre-wetting the entire paper because I will be painting wet on wet. For sky I will be using the mix of ultramarine and azure and later on I added a little bit of turquoise blue also, I'm using Mother Lake Red Light mixed in with a little bit of Cadmium Yellow Medium and for the part next to the sunset I will be using Rose Sienna, Cadmium Yellow Medium and at the end a little bit of Cadmium Lemon. I'm painting the sky in horizontal strokes and letting my colors, my paint to just a little bit mix one into other and create smoother transitions. All the materials and supplies I will be using are listed down in the description box together with the links if you're interested in purchasing them and those are my affiliate links so if you do purchase an item or more I will get a small commission and with no additional cost to you. As you could have seen I picked up a little bit of paint with a tissue paper for the sun and also I'm painting the part where the reflection is going to be with burnt sienna. Same color I'm using for some parts of my sea and also for the beach. I left the paint to dry completely and right now without deprivating the paper with cadmium lemon I'm going around my sun with a small round brush just to add a little bit more of sparkle to that sunset and to emphasize my sun. Also cadmium lemon I'm using to paint the part around the reflection in my beach and adding a little bit of burnt sienna. When you see me using that bigger round brush as I did on the sun and also I will be doing on the beach, I'm just using it with the water, I did not dip it into paint, just in a water and I'm actually smudging the paint from the reflection into the other parts on one and the other side. Later on I did pick up a little bit of paint and adding it to that part of the beach that is further away from the sunset and I'm not trying to make one perfect same wash but just adding a little bit more color here and a little bit more color there and also I'm, I was using sepia and after the paint completely dried with a script brush I'm just adding a little bit of texture to my beach. For that I'm using the top of my script brush and also the belly, the side of my brush just, as I said, to add a little bit more interest. Before painting the sea I will pre-wet that part of the paper with the clean water and after that just add a mix of my blues and I just added with the tip of my brush just a little bit of that Mother Lake red light just to place it into the seas, to add it into the seas and I did not pick up the lot of paint but just I wanted to make it a light wash, pretty transparent and for my burnt sienna that I painted earlier to peek through. 
part of the pitch I also want to be the darkest so I'm adding a little bit more sepia to it leaving the part where the reflection from the sun is a little bit lighter while the paint in the sea is still wet I'm with a smaller round brush I'm adding a little bit more of waves texture and for that I'm using ultramarine and placing it here and and there just to make as I said a little bit of impressions of the waves in the sea with indigo color and a script brush I'm painting in the horizon line and I'm not really trying to make it straight uh, but I'm painting it wavy to also make the impression that there are waves further away in the horizon line. With the tip of my script brush I'm painting the darkest parts of my waves nearer to us and in that way creating some shadows in waves. On top of the waves I added some light wash of burnt sienna to make the notion that there is just some sun reflecting on top of them. Later on with the side of my script brush I'm adding a little bit more of texture to the sea. I also decided to splatter some sepia and burnt sienna to my beach just to make an impression that there is some dirt, maybe some stones or darker sand and also some prominence in it. Since I wanted a little bit more interest in my sunset and for it to be the focal point of my painting I'm adding a little bit more of burnt sienna around the sun and also some variety in the sky in the form of clouds and maybe some darker and some brighter ones. And with an additional pigment in the sky I'm also making it a little bit more vibrant. When the paint on my beach dried, I'm adding a little bit more of that burnt sienna just to make that part where the reflection from the sun is stand out and the part that is further from the, from the reflection to be a little bit more darker. Also with a mix of my blues and some other lake red light that made some violet mixture, I painted the shadows beneath the waves that are forming on the beach. Same thing I did also in the sea, made the part where it, that is further from the reflection darker and the part that is on the reflection a little bit lighter. And painted it with cadmium lemon just to make it pop a little bit more. repeating those steps a couple of times until I feel satisfied how it all looks. to use white gel pen to make the foamy parts of the waves but you can of course use a white gouache and as you will see later on I will add a little bit of white gouache 
and also in the other parts of my C to make a highlighted parts and to make it look a little bit more diverse. At the end I'll do some couple of more details to finish off my painting. finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for supporting me and if you like this video please hit the like button and comment tell me what you like what you didn't like share it and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll see you next time bye